Hello and welcome to my video today. I've received a package in from electrifiedocean.com. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Here is my receipt. I'm gonna cover the information, don't need to see all that. Shows the Fisker Ocean key fob and Fisker Ocean NFC card. So let's see. Let's open it up. Bubble wrap bag with tape on the end. And that is everything inside. Let me move this all out of the way. So here we go. Let's open up the key fob. And there is a battery in here too. And if you look, it is very similar to the existing key fob. Here is my existing one right next to it. Of course, it's uh, a bit older, uh, 10 months old versus the new one. Otherwise, these are the same. It has the same painted logos that are on the buttons. The back is the same too. So yeah, that's what we're getting. So no surprises there. Next we have individually wrapped in these Ziploc bags is the Fisker Ocean key card. These are NFC cards that can be used to unlock and lock the vehicle from the driver's side door handle as well as starting the car by placing it by the NFC sensor that's to the left of the steering wheel down towards the uh, driver's seat uh, floor. So that is what that looks like. Even has a little instruction on the back, hold card here while pressing brake pedal and shift into D or R. So yeah, so here's a symbol of the steering wheel. Here's the center dashboard. And to the left of the steering wheel is where you place this card. And you just need to tap and then you can put it back in your pocket. So it doesn't need to stay attached to the car or to the sensor or anything. You just need to tap it and then you can put it away. So I am going to be installing this on my Fisker Ocean tomorrow. So when I come back, I'll show you how that works with the process and I'll see you then. And this is the programming kit. It arrived in this box. Let's take it out. And we'll undo the snaps. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. It's well protected for travel. We have a power cord for AC over here if it needs to get charged. Underneath this foam is a Surface tablet. And underneath that, we have the OBD2 adapter that connects to the car. And then on the other end is a USB plug that goes into the tablet. And that's what we need for getting this programming completed. There's also a you may or may not get this in your kit, but this is a expansion for USB and for charging. So I'm not going to need that right now. Should be fully charged. So yeah, so just these two things right here is what we'll take to the car and get started. Here we have the car's door open. I have the tablet positioned right here. I now have the OBD2 adapter and I'm going to plug this in. And when you're plugging it in, you place it with the thinner side facing the driver. And then when that's installed, 
I'm going to put this end into the tablet. All right, so we got that in, and then we will attach. Now we'll attach this right here. Have that boot up. All right. I got uh, the laptop connected to my car now. Okay, so let me do, I might as well, well, it's already in NFC pairing, so I might as well do that one first. Doesn't matter, right? Okay. All right, so I got PKC software version, and then I'm going to hold the card next to the sensor, and then click on execute. All right, one card, success. Oh, I like how it's uh, spelled six, suck fully uh, paired. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one now. Okay, second one paired. Let me test. Okay. I just have the doors open, so it, it recognized it and said that's the new door sound that it does now. All right, so now for the key fob. Get that out. I have to change it to... Start key pairing. And I am going to hold it up to it. Press execute. Just keep pressing the button. It, it's saying it did positive response, key exchange. Um, now it's uh, check key fob NFC. It's, it's uh, positive and then positive on reading key fob NFC. Oh, now it's, now it's uh, unlocking the door. But it doesn't say anything. Should I just leave it connected still or? Uh, it's touching the, the sensor, the uh, NFC oh, yeah. sensor. Then it's done. Oh, now it is. Oh, yeah, it had a whole bunch of them. All right, so I just hit unlock. I heard unlock, so it's got to be paired. Okay. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yep. So it's super fast if everything is working. <laughs> All right, disconnected. And that's it for the pairing today. So I managed to get my new key fob and two key cards connected to the car with the software. If everything is working fine, you may be able to do this in about 15 minutes or so. I also was able to get a second owner who came over and left his car so I could pair his key fob and NFC card as well. The only issue I had was the first laptop I was using had an issue with the Wi-Fi, so I had a replacement 
So I was able to load the software onto that and everything went smoothly after that. However, every car is different and you may have modules that have older software, firmware on them, and it may be more difficult. There could be other issues with the car that you may need to adjust. So it really depends on the vehicle, how updated it is, and, uh, and just basically good luck sometimes. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I have two more people coming tomorrow morning for pairing, as well as another person on Monday. So wish me luck with those, and I will see you in the next video.